All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days. Great Millstone, also known as GMS. In salutation to the Most High's men in four corners of the earth, pushing his word and sincerity to the truth. And Shalom to the sisters out there that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. This is your brother, Bob Yum Yum, for GMS Mississippi. Today I have an in transit video uh, going into belief or believing. Because all things are possible all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So as you believe on him, he's not unrighteous or unjust uh, to forget those things that you ask, plead, beg, and, and, and require from the Heavenly Father. As long as you're doing those things that, that, that he requires of you, it pleases him to give unto you what it is that you ask is for, right? Because as, as, as the scriptures are written, it, it, it goes into how, you know, when you do those good things, that the Heavenly Father... He will open up a blessing from the heavens that you may not even be able to contain all of it. You know, hey, so the Heavenly Father, he's not unjust when it comes to his own. He's not unjust when it comes to those that truly love him and desire him and seek him, right? When you read in the book of Revelation, it talks talks about how acts and ye shall receive, knocking the door shall be open. Now that goes into the spirit, that goes into the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, but when you read in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter, it goes into praying. When you read in the book of James, it goes into how the Heavenly Father, he knoweth those things that you need and want even before you ask him for them. So that believing in, 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 in what the Heavenly Father would do for you is, is, is of the essence, you know? And, but it's on the contrary on how the, 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 the modern day churches teach the people going into prosperity and different things of that nature. You know, the Heavenly Father, you should desire spiritual gifts first and foremost spiritual gifts spiritual things above all things and once you obtain those then the heavenly father he's not slack to give you other dainties other little materialistic things other things that may comfort your uh, 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 the carnality and the life that we live you know and it is what it is because a true man it, it, he's able to balance it you know he's not going to get caught into many endeavors because he's able to foresee the evil and he knoweth what will cause him to slip it or for him to fall, you know? And even in the case of a fall or a slip, that righteous man, at the same time, he still knoweth that he fell down. He know when he slipped, right? So as we were coming up as children and we required of our dad, our stepfather, whatever the case may be, we're just gonna talk about our father, not our mother, because I'm just talking about the Heavenly Father in comparison uh, to your earthly form of father, your carnal father, your earthly father. When there were things that you wanted, things that, 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 that you desired, you annoyed the hell out of your father for those things. I don't care if it was a bike, if it was a pair of rollerblades, if it was a basketball, a football, to allow you to be on a team to let you go out on your first date, whatever it was, you begged and pleaded with your father for his approval and for him to make it happen for you. And our Heavenly Father, he's the same. It pleases the Heavenly Father. It pleases him. It pleases him to do good unto those that love him. Your earthly father and, the, and, and you brothers that are fathers right now, even you mothers too. It pleases you to see that smile upon your child's face. It pleases you to feel that you've done a job well done. It pleases you. Not to create a spoiled brat, not to, to create a, a, a child who doesn't appreciate anything, but it pleases you when you see the discipline and the effort that your child has put into doing the right thing. And that's what it's all about doing the right thing and the heavenly father is well pleased into blessing you he's well pleased into giving you those things so as you take this journey with me on the roadway today pray unto the heavenly father and beg and plead unto him for those spiritual gifts wisdom knowledge and understanding more discipline more faith more strength less fear uh, less fear bless you on, on your endeavors take away that that, that, that low-minded Negro mind state from you. Ask the Heavenly Father to exalt you in all things, in the spirit first and foremost, but even in the world, 
Pray to the Heavenly Father to, to, to have all your enemies at peace with you. You know? Because as, as much as many people hate us and despise us, they love us at the same time. They want to be us at the same time. And that's one of the reasons why their hate is so strong because they really, really envy you. They really have a disdain towards you as a person because the Heavenly Father has put a spirit inside of you that makes you different than all the rest. And you got to know that and you got to believe that. You thank the Heavenly Father for that. Not in a bragging or boastful manner, but you thank the Heavenly Father for making you an Israelite. You thank Him for blessing you with this knowledge. You thank Him for blessing you with this truth. He said, keep my commandments and ye shall live. Pray to the Heavenly Father to give you that spirit of discipline to always abide in His ways, to always abide in His words. Because today's topic is spe specifically talking about believing. Ask yourself, what do you truly believe in? Are you sincere? Is it all for show? Or do you have a calling? Do you have a purpose? So as you labor and you work and you strive for the mastery, masteries un, un, unto death in this truth, in this knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you pray unto him as though you pray uh, a, a beg and, begged and pled unto your father when you needed something, when you wanted something. Speak plainly unto the Heavenly Father and make your request known unto him. And if it be his will, he's going to bless you. He's going to take care of you. Because all that's required of us is what? Give us this day our daily bread. That's all required. But the Heavenly Father, he does give extras. So plead to the Heavenly Father as though you're making your request very, very plain and known unto him. So with that, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, this is your brother Banyonyon. Until next time, I say Shalom.